Seeking English, SAT Workbook, page 392, problem 2, no calculator. You absolutely will need to see the graph in order to do this problem correctly. So if you, uh, if you do not have any means to see the graph, uh, skip this problem. If you're, if, you're, if you're not a paid student, that explains why you're not seeing the graph. And that's a reasonable rule. It's not my rule, but it's a reasonable rule. So skip this problem and come back when you have paid to see the graph. Uh, in the in the meantime, uh, other people, if you um, if you do have access to the book and you uh, you just don't have it open or don't have it handy at the moment, you are going to be see, you're going to need to see the graph. So get the graphic open or go get the physical copy of the book. Do whatever it is you need to do. I will wait here for you. Go on, I'll wait. Shh. Okay, it says, the graph above shows the volume of water in gallons of water in a sink from 2 p.m. until 2, sorry, from 2 p.m. until 2.10 p.m. What is the average rate in gallons per minute at which the water drained out of the sink from 2.08 p.m. to 2.10 p.m.? Uh, what confuses people about this problem is there's, there's a lot of data on the graph that's not going to be used for anything. And uh, I've mentioned that eventually I probably should make an SAT video about distractors. Uh, but distractors are they're more important on the other four tests that I teach. Uh, SAT is comparatively transparent. Um, not in this case. Uh, there's, there, there's distracting graphic information on the graph. And that is probably what will slow down most students. If you can uh, learn to filter that out quickly, the problem becomes very easy. Very, very easy. Um, what it says is there's a dot. It says there's a dot uh, at 2.08 p.m. Corresponding, corresponding to six gallons. And there's another dot at 2.10 p.m. corresponding to zero gallons. And there is a straight line representing, I suppose, average rate of flow. You have nothing else to go with, <laughs> okay? Uh, from that dot to that other dot, it's a straight line. They're, they're telling you, even if there were more data, they're not giving it to you. Uh, they, they want you to describe what the, uh, what the rate of flow is from six gallons at 2.08 p.m. to zero gallons at 2.10 p.m. This is six gallons over two minutes, and that is three gallons per minute. Your answers are 12, six, three, and two. Correct answer is uh, C, three. Um, this uh, should not be a hard problem, um, but it can be a hard problem due to lack of habituation or lack of familiarity, okay? Um, uh, if, if, this, if this problem bothered you, just look at it again and find other problems like it and look at them again. Um, because while, while, while what you need to do to solve the problem is not complicated, uh, not doing it enough is enough to cost you uh, points on a test. And you don't want that. I, it, it's not a lot of effort to just look at these things until they become familiar. It's not even work. It's just seeing them. Okay, so look at this one until it seems obvious to you. Okay. If I, other videos where I've said, look at it until it seems obvious to you. I'm very serious about this. Okay. <laughs> These are the easy points. Don't waste them. Okay. Uh, so correct answer was three. Okay. You other guys who went to go get your books, uh, you have them ready? Too late. <laughs>